He didn't respond with speeches or take the stage with promises. Elon Musk preferred something quieter and much more explosive. While critics questioned his ability to innovate in batteries, Tesla was quietly working on a technology that promises to put an end to the lithium-ion era. The 2026 Model 2 arrives equipped with a brand new battery based on aluminum ions and supercapacitors, and the initial figures are already sending shivers down the spine of competitors. Energy density reaches up to $1,000 water kgs, more than double that of current lithium-ion batteries. And most impressively, a full charge in 10 minutes. This changes not only the car itself, but the way people think about time and energy. Aluminum isn't alone in this revolution. The secret lies in the union of traditional chemistry with the intelligence of a hybrid system. While aluminum stores energy densely and efficiently, supercapacitors ensure instantaneous power peaks, ideal for sudden acceleration and regenerative braking. This combination eliminates the old dilemma between autonomy and performance. Instead of choosing between power and range, drivers can now have both. The proposal is simple, a battery that behaves like a tireless marathon runner, but also knows how to sprint the 100-meter dash when necessary. Beyond speed and power, what's most impressive is its durability. Internal tests indicate that Tesla's new battery can last up to 25 years, with over 15,000 charge cycles without significant loss of performance. This is more than double the life expectancy of current lithium-ion batteries, which begin to lose their lifespan after about 2,000 cycles. In practical terms, this means a Model 2 can survive two or even three generations of drivers without needing to replace the vehicle's energy core. A feat that completely redefines obsolescence standards in the automotive industry. This advancement also drastically alters maintenance costs and environmental impact. A battery that doesn't need replacing for decades represents significant savings for consumers, as well as a drastic reduction in hazardous waste disposal. Even if the Model 2's starting prices aren't particularly eye-catching, the long-term total cost of ownership is undeniably lower. And in this game, those who think ahead have an advantage. Aluminum, being more abundant and easier to recycle, also offers an ecological advantage that lithium has never been able to consistently deliver. Another detail few people realize is the thermal operating range. While lithium batteries require expensive cooling and heating systems to operate between 20 degrees C and 30 degrees C, Tesla's new battery operates comfortably between 50 degrees C and 150 degrees C. This means it doesn't suffer in the Canadian winter or the desert summer. It doesn't require complex thermal circuits or additional protection. The material itself can handle the stress. The result? Fewer components, less weight, and lower production costs. And as a bonus, a lighter and more efficient car on the road. Lightness, in fact, is a welcome side effect. With less need for thermal shielding and support structure, the Model 2 loses weight without compromising safety. This directly contributes to the vehicle's range, which is already increased by the energy efficiency of aluminum. Every pound saved translates into more kilometers driven, and every minute saved on recharging becomes a chance to regain time, the most valuable resource today. The idea isn't just mechanical, it's almost philosophical. Less waiting, more freedom. But perhaps the most daring aspect of this battery is how it redefines the very concept of an energy cell. By combining the continuous storage of aluminum with the explosive response of supercapacitors, Tesla has created a system that doesn't just store energy, it thinks about how to use it. The car ceases to be a passive object and begins to react intelligently to the driver's demands, whether accelerating aggressively or maintaining a stable and fuel-efficient ride, the battery adjusts, as if it were truly alive. And this is only possible because this technology was designed to break with previous limitations. It's not about improving an old system, but about creating a completely new architecture from scratch. The Model 2's aluminum battery isn't an update to the past, but a break with it. And in this scenario, 
lithium stops being the protagonist and becomes a supporting player. Or perhaps not even that. The revolution is here, and it begins exactly where no one was looking. Inside a battery that many said was impossible. What few people realize is that the battery war was never just about range or charging speed. It was, from the beginning, a geopolitical dispute. While the entire world was betting all its chips on lithium, Tesla chose a different path, aluminum, and this completely changes the game. Unlike lithium, whose reserves are concentrated in a few countries like Chile, Argentina, and Bolivia, aluminum is widely distributed and much more accessible. The United States, for example, produces more than 1.7 million tons per year, with enough domestic reserves to supply the automotive sector for decades. This opens the door to something the market hasn't seen in a long time, independence. This independence isn't just a matter of national pride. It's a direct response to China's dominance in the lithium supply chain. Currently, more than 85% of the world's lithium is refined in China, making it nearly impossible for any country to control its own battery production without relying on Asia. By shifting to aluminum, Tesla eliminates this critical dependence and gives the United States a chance to regain control of its energy transition. It's as if Elon Musk were saying, the technology is ours, and now the resources too. The switch from lithium to aluminum wouldn't be so impactful if it weren't accompanied by a dramatic drop in production costs. Published data indicates that aluminum ion batteries can be manufactured for up to 75% less than a traditional lithium ion battery. In real terms, this means a battery pack that previously cost $15,000 can now cost less than $4,000. It's the kind of reduction that completely changes the electric car equation and makes something previously unthinkable possible. An affordable Tesla for millions of people. And what does this mean for the average consumer? Simple. Electric cars with prices comparable to, or even lower than, combustion-powered models, without sacrificing range, performance, or durability. The Model 2, for example, will sell for around 15,750 naidars in the United States, putting it in the same price range as a popular gasoline-powered sedan, but with a cheaper, cleaner, and more durable battery. The dream of a truly affordable electric car is no longer a futuristic promise, but a real product with mass delivery expected starting in 2026. This shift isn't just happening in the numbers, but also in public perception. For years, the narrative was that electric cars were for the elite, for wealthy countries, or for those with garages to install a charger. Tesla's new proposal changes that completely. With aluminum as a base, mass production becomes viable even in developing countries where charging infrastructure is still in its infancy. The independence of cooling circuits and the lower cost create the perfect conditions for the global expansion of electric vehicles, not only in the United States, but also in regions like Latin America, Africa, and Southeast Asia. Another point that cannot be ignored is the environmental impact of this change. Lithium mining and refining involve aggressive processes with intensive water use and pollutant emissions. Aluminum, on the other hand, is more abundant and can be recycled indefinitely without loss of performance. Over 95% of the aluminum used in these new batteries can be reused multiple times, creating a closed production cycle. This means less environmental impact, less extraction of natural resources, and a true circular economy applied to the automotive sector. The industrial structure that is forming around aluminum itself is moving at a different pace. Instead of relying on complex logistics chains and external refining, Tesla is already structuring a network of local suppliers to ensure production in the United States. This shortens lead times, reduces logistics costs, and strengthens the domestic economy. Musk's bet is not just technical, but political and economic. It's the idea that a car can simultaneously be a technological innovation, a tool for national sovereignty, and a lever for industrial transformation. And that's precisely where the Model 2 stands out. 
It's not just a car with a different battery. It's the symbol of a structural shift, energetic, economic, and geopolitical. A vehicle that represents the possibility of energy freedom on a domestic scale. Tesla is no longer just an automaker and is now playing a strategic role in redefining the future of nations. And the engine of this transformation isn't lithium. It's aluminum, light, abundant, recyclable, and now surprisingly powerful. It's not just the battery material that Tesla is surprising. It's also the microscopic architecture that brings it all to life. At the heart of this new generation of batteries is a technology invisible to the naked eye, yet too powerful to ignore. Graphene quantum dots. These particles measure just one nanometer wide, 10,000 times thinner than a human hair, but play a fundamental role in the Model 2's performance. Instead of being randomly thrown into the cell, they are positioned with surgical precision in key areas of the battery, optimizing electron conduction and preventing internal failures. This quantum highway system prevents the formation of dendrites, microscopic structures that compromise lithium batteries over time. Thanks to graphene, electrons follow safe paths, increasing not only battery life, but also its stability. The result is a reduction of up to 95% in internal electrical resistance, which translates into more power, less heat, and greater overall efficiency. In practice, the Model 2 uses almost all of the battery's energy to power the car, instead of wasting it as heat. And all this without requiring rare materials or complex solutions. The presence of quantum dots also allows the battery to support ultra-fast charging, something that only a few years ago seemed like science fiction. The graphene-reinforced internal structure handles high currents without suffering wear. This means that charging the car in 5 or 10 minutes doesn't compromise its lifespan, as happens with conventional batteries. Tests show that this system can maintain up to 40% more charging efficiency, even after thousands of cycles. And the most interesting thing, all this using just one gram of graphene per battery, the equivalent of a grain of rice that changes everything. But graphene doesn't work alone. It's integrated into an onboard artificial intelligence network that monitors and controls battery behavior in real time. This system is controlled by the QNP1 chip, a neural processor developed by Tesla itself. Installed under the Model 2's center console, it connects to biometric sensors throughout the cabin and throughout the vehicle's power system. The idea is simple and ingenious. To understand the driver better than the driver understands himself. And, believe me, the car learns quickly. This chip interprets everything from steering wheel tension to pupil dilation to predict the driver's intentions. If it detects signs of stress, it prepares the battery for faster responses. If it detects calmness, it saves energy. It automatically adjusts the charging mode according to the owner's routine, departure times, frequent destinations, even physiological patterns. This isn't marketing. It's algorithms running in real time to preserve the battery, increase performance, and provide a personalized experience on every trip. Integrated artificial intelligence also directly influences battery life. Based on millions of data points collected over time, the chip regulates the depth of charge and discharge, minimizing chemical wear. Instead of draining the battery completely or unnecessarily charging it to 100%, it operates with intelligent margins that extend its lifespan. Tesla's calculations indicate that this system can double the number of charge cycles compared to models without adaptive intelligence. Less wear, more efficiency, and without the driver even realizing they're being helped. Beyond energy management, the QNP1 chip also transforms the Model 2 into a kind of emotional extension of the user. The cabin adapts to the driver's mood in real time. If the system detects anxiety, it softens the suspension and reduces throttle response. If it detects focus or haste, it automatically activates sport mode. All this without touch, voice commands, or buttons, just by recognizing human behavior. It's as if the car stops being a machine 
and becomes a road partner. And as much as it sounds like science fiction, Tesla has already put prototypes running with this technology. This isn't a promise for 10 years from now. It's a feature that's already undergone production testing and is about to hit the streets. The goal isn't just to deliver a car that drives well or charges quickly, but to create a driving experience so fluid, intuitive, and responsive that the driver almost forgets there's any technology involved. It's just the driver, the road, and a car that senses everything around it. When it comes to electric cars, many people still think only of driving from point A to point B. But the Model 2 completely changes this logic. It's not just a means of transportation, it's a power station on wheels. Thanks to its new aluminum ion battery architecture and its ultra-fast charging and discharging capabilities, the car also functions as an active unit in the city's electrical system. This is the basis of the concept called vehicle to grid, or simply V2G. In other words, the car not only consumes energy, but can also return it to the grid, helping to stabilize supply during peak times. It may seem exaggerated, but the numbers are concrete. According to McKinsey estimates, electric vehicles with V2G support could stabilize up to 12% of cities' energy demand by 2026. Imagine millions of connected cars, operating like a silent army, charging at night and helping to power hospitals, schools, and traffic lights during the day. The Model 2, with its near-instantaneous reverse charging capability, fits perfectly into this scenario. And best of all, this happens automatically without the owner having to worry. The car decides when to release energy and when to maintain its own charge based on intelligent algorithms. This versatility is only possible because the Model 2 battery performs well in any climate. Unlike conventional batteries, which require complex systems to handle extreme temperatures, the aluminum ion system operates efficiently between 50 degrees C and plus 180 degrees. This eliminates the need for active cooling, reduces production costs, and improves reliability. In places like Montreal or Dubai, Performance is the same, stable, fast, and predictable. And in a world increasingly impacted by extreme weather events, this resilience stops being a technical detail and becomes a real advantage. This thermal robustness also paves the way for uses beyond the individual consumer. Elon Musk has made it clear that the Model 2 will be a centerpiece of Tesla's future autonomous taxi fleets. And for a car that runs 24-7 non-stop, the battery needs to be as durable as an airplane engine. Aluminum technology fits this profile perfectly. It supports rapid cycling and frequent charging while still maintaining performance. Instead of a fleet of cars heading to the repair shop, what we'll have are active vehicles, charging in minutes and ready to hit the road again. And this has a direct impact on companies' operating costs. Without the need to replace batteries every few years, autonomous fleet operators could save thousands of dollars per vehicle over its lifetime. Add to this fuel savings, simplified maintenance, and reduced recharging time. And the result is a new business model for urban transportation. The Model 2 isn't just viable, it's profitable. And we're not talking about a 2040 projection. Testing is already underway. Factories are being adapted and the ecosystem is under construction. Another invisible but profound impact is psychological. For years, fear of range, the so-called range anxiety, 